Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. We're so glad you're with us today. It's a great day to sing praises to God. Come on everybody, jump up and worship with us.
really hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and learning how to be heroic by doing things for God. This month, we are starting a new series called Make It or Break It. Today, we are learning about creation. God made good things, really good things. Let's watch our video lesson to learn more about creation. Hey there, Chicken Nuggets. Me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, howdy ho, y'all. About time y'all got here. This is going to be a great day. You know why? Because today we get to play. That's right. I've made the decision today that I am going to play. And you're probably wondering or asking yourself, hey, Carl, you can't be playing. You got to do work and stuff and then and then give us like a Bible story and then like talk to Jada and then, I don't know, like maybe give us the big idea. Well, guess what? I can do whatever I want. And what I want to do is have fun and build things. Are you with me? I said, are you with me? I said. Okay, I forgot that you can't, I can't actually hear you because there is a screen in between us and that's how science works. So today we're gonna build things. And I've got a bunch of random stuff here. So here we go. All right, I'm finished. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Can't wait to show Jada. Oh, speaking of that, look at the time. Jada! Hey, Carl! Oh! Whoa, what's wrong? Did something bite you? Uh, no. What is that? What, my hair? Oh, I mean, I tried doing like a like a little part to the side, but I wasn't really sure how it was gonna look. Uh. No, Carl, the thing on the table. What is that? Oh, I got it. Yeah, this is the first creation I uh, made. Uh, you like it? Totally. It's really unique. Thank you. So, what got you in the mood to build things today? Did something inspire you? Oh, gotcha. Have you ever read the first chapter, the fir uh, first book in the uh, Bible? Genesis chapter one? Totally. I actually just read it this morning. That's crazy. Good, because I'll be honest, when I first read it, I didn't really understand it and I figured it could help me. And it did. Really? Did it help you? I mean, where do I start? God created this whole world without any help. I had no idea. I mean, I can't even make a PB&J without some assistance. <laughs> I get that. That's one of the things I love about this story too. God is so powerful that we get to read about how the universe was created and it all happened by God saying, let there be lights. It's so wild. And then you get to see all the things God created without, within the span of the uh, seven days. Like on day one, God created day and night, which is great because I can't imagine my life without either one of those. Then on day two, God created the clouds, the sky, and the ocean. Day three, dry land and plants, they are created. Day four, God made the moon, the sun, and the stars. And then day five, God made the cool stuff, birds and fishies. Day six, God really did something special because the animals were created and so were the first humans. Woo, let's go humans. Then on the seventh day, God rested. God was satisfied with what was created and knew it was good. Good, yes, I love that word. Really? Why? Well, I never really thought about it until I read the story. But every day after something was created, God described it using one word. Good, I like that. Wow, that's a solid point. I guess I never thought about it either. God is really good at making, well, things good. For sure, I mean, God did create me and I'm pretty good, right? <laughs> I suppose, but that's what I love about this whole story. God created this perfect world for us. And the craziest part of the whole thing is that God didn't need to create anything. God wanted to, and in the perfect order too. Hmm, what do you mean? God made humans last. Does that mean God loves us the least? No, the opposite actually. Think about it. 
God made sure everything was made in the right order. The seeds were made before the fish were, the sun was made before the plants were, the land was made before the animals were. Everything was in place before humans came along so that everything would be perfect. That's how much we're loved. I mean, it's so cool. God made the mountains, the rivers, the galaxies, even the platypus. And even out of all those things, God loves us more. Yep, and now we get the chance to walk on this earth and go on amazing adventures with incredible people. I'm so grateful and we're so lucky that God makes good things. Hey there kiddos, today we have a big idea for you and it is simply, God makes good things. And that includes you. So let's shout out our big idea on the count of three. One, two, three. God makes good things. Excellent job. Now thanks for tuning into this episode of Grow TV and I hope you'll be back next time. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. You sure are right. God makes good things, and I'm so thankful that God made the trees, the flowers, birds, and people. He loves us so much. Let's thank God for creation. God, thank you for a great day that you've given us. Thank you for the beauty of the world. We pray that you would help us to take great care of it and enjoy what you have given to us. We love you and thank you and praise you. And everybody said, amen. amen. Have well, a have great a great week. week. Bye, everybody.